Hi everyone, my name is Zahound and today we're creating a house track from scratch. We're just gonna see where the inspiration takes us, so without further ado, let's get straight to the video. We're gonna be starting off from my Ableton default template that I have loaded in here. And for this, I'm gonna go into my newly created Lotus Legacy Kicks Pack. So what I did is I just basically created a mini track like this and I added drum rack. And within the pads of the drum rack, I loaded in a few samples. I'm going to delete this layer here since we already have our kick layer over here. And now we're going to head back into sample packs, select a few kicks that sound nice. Yeah, might as well just add a few different variations. some softer ones, some that are more harsh. So I'm just paying attention to each and every single kick. Each one looks different. Some of them are shorter. Some of them have a different tonality. I'm just gonna draw in a few kick notes here. So we're on fourth beat. Every fourth note is a kick. That is correct. Set our BPM to, I'm gonna go for a bit of a slower vibe, maybe one, 119, 119. 119, 118. I'm going to start with the drums because I feel like those are really important. And we're going to add some, some shaker. I want to start off with the main groove first. Reduce the volume here. Gonna add a few shaker loops, see if they add to the entirety of the groove. This one's kind of cool. Feels really loose. See if we can add some percussions for us. Maybe we can take a couple of snippets from this percussion sound here. I'm going to go with a loop that sounds good with the kick. Maybe reduce the length down a bit. See if we can add like another loop in between the other perks. See there's a space here. So I want to fill that space out with another perk loop and a space over here.
see, this might be too harsh though. Yeah, let's just take the first little section here. Mm. Is this correct? Yeah, there we go. Slowly filling out the groove, checking if a different kick fits better. back into the kicks pack. So I'm going to route our loops into a sidechain ducking channel over here. This is basically an audio track with a compressor on. And this compressor it's receiving audio from the kick, so every time the kick hits, every other element that's going through this sidechain ducking channel is being reduced in volume. Just make sure it's set to input and you route the channels into sidechain ducking as displayed over here. So... Cool. It's kind of soft. This one's kind of cool. See if we can go for a nice clap here. Uh, I'm going to create a few audio track layers here. Reshift the clap a bit. Oops. Yeah, just like that. Add another layer. Yeah, maybe one that has a bit more high frequencies to it. Reduce the length of it here. Reduce the volume. Zoom in a bit, see if we can pre-shift it some more. Oh no. Yeah, I like this one's pretty wide clip. Yeah, so I have three individual layers. I'm gonna duplicate this now. Reduce the overall volume for the claps and delete this MIDI layer that I have here. We don't need that. I'm going to consolidate this actually. Or you know what? I'm going to undo that and consolidate a full loop. Hitting Control J. Duplicate that until the end of the loop here. Okay, let's see if we can actually add 
some type of hi-hat here. So... Duplicate this, see if we can test out another one. Kind of like both. Switch out the kick here. Gonna see if I can add a few more kicks to the drum rack and just switch them out. So you have so many in here. Oops. Uh. Oh, this one's interesting too. Okay, so we have ourselves a pretty stable groove now. I'm gonna see if I can add some melodic pad like elements. Gonna head into Omnisphere for that. Uh, you should load it somewhere down here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Gonna add this to instruments. Just like that. Drag instruments up here. Now we have Omnisphere loaded. Gonna head into the Atmosphere library and into Textures playable. Let's see if we can get some interesting sound out of this synth here. Morning in Dublin. Yeah, sounds kind of cinematic dark. Don't know if this is what we're looking for. I'm looking for a subtle, small little atmosphere that goes well with the background. See if we can pitch this up an octave. Let me go for like another synth. Whoops. <laughs> Can I actually move into the hardware library? See if we can have, have any other sounds here. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Hmm. Sound too eerie.
Yeah, let's let's just vibe with this one here. Lush, something like that. A bit shorter, I want the nose to be a bit shorter. Let's see if we can add holy pads. The rack that I created a while ago, it's really great for creating pads. Just need to find it somewhere in my library here. He says audio fix, holy pads, yeah. Hit control T. Sampling. So, since we're resampling everything that's coming from here, I'm just gonna disable side chain ducking just in case. And we're gonna let it run through here. Oh, that sounds cool. Just gonna let it play for a bit. Okay, I think that's enough now. Let's actually just take this little section over here, add this here. And now we want to resample these notes over here. So what we're going to do is let them play out. Add this one here. Honestly, that's a bit too quiet. I'm gonna have to increase the volume here. Utility. Oh, that sounds so cool already. You know what? I'm gonna resample them both again without the movement. So first, let's resample this layer here. Gonna find the right spot. It's too loud, so. It's a bit too much noise, unfortunately. There we go. should work and then this here disable this layer now and resample this one Go with this. 
So now we have the first chord pattern, which is white, and the second chord pattern. Chord Atmos 1, Chord Atmos 2. Re enable those chords. I'm going to disable holy pads now. Play those together without the utility. Disable that as well. Significantly reduce the volume here. Do some cueing. On here as well. All right. Can add some delay so these two chords fade into each other. Some stereo width. Now we're going to duplicate the kick. Or as a matter of fact, we're going to add it into a new layer. Just like that. Can add some EQs, do some of the highs, maybe take out some of the lows. I want to create a Tom groove now, so I'm going to create and name this Tom, just like that. Oh, bit too clicky, so I'm going to remove the transient here. There we go. Let's see if we can move this down here. Yeah, and then we can create some variation for the tom grooves in the second part here. Honestly, I'm going to move this one a bit more here. Yeah, I like this one more. Take this, duplicate that here. Let's see if we can Add like a detailed percussion loop in the background. Take out some little lows. Now add some grain delay. Grain delay is really cool if you want to create like weird, weird sounds. Just like a glitchy sound here. Adds a bit of texture to the loop. Compressing the claps a bit. I want to pitch down the bongos a bit. 
without really interfering with the pitch. And what I like to use for that is shifter. Should be an audio effect somewhere. So this is our bongo loop. Let's rename this into bongo. Does a really nice job pitching sounds. really deep now. pretty happy with how this sounds so far just looking for some some kind of spark some kind of melody or something that will take us to the next step of this little loop here that we have going uh... Let's see if we can add like a small reverse sound here in Diva into a new instrument layer just like this I'm gonna stick with the initialized preset here I want to have the root note so I'm gonna create a MIDI clip control shift M reduce the volume a bit so it doesn't hurt our ears now <laughs> I want to figure out the root note of the track. I think it's G. I want to create some plucky sound. I'll reduce these parameters here. Make it shorter. It's a bit too short. Maybe add this to envelope 2. Cool. Oh, that sound cool. So we're in the key of G minor, right? Scale G minor now we know which notes we can draw in da -da -da -da. Sounds kind of random still though. Just want to work on the sound first. I 
Maybe add some delay to see how the notes blend into each other. Yeah. They sound cool. Some reverb. Duplicate this diva layer and see if I can come up with another sound that sounds cool. I'm gonna go through a few of my favorite presets here. Pitch it down an octave here. Mm. 
between me. Now I want to create a baseline. I'm going to take these notes, add them to the sub layer here. I'm actually going to move them down one here and consolidate these. So they're one clip. So, oh, it's actually G all the time. So let's see if we can create like a distinct little subgroove here. Recolor this channel here and add in another diva. Plugins, diva. Gonna head into base. Gonna have to push it down an octave here. different sound. Da -da -dum -dum -dum. Yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty good sub sound though. Just trying to find that sub groove. this diva layer and see if we can find another sub sound that suits well to this pattern. extend the arrangement a bit more so we have four in total and we can work with some more gonna just delete some tracks for the intro
see what I can disable in the intro here. Yeah, take this out here. This too. Or actually just these here. And add in a auto filter for these shakers here. So I filtered them in during the intro. There we go. I'm not sure about the hi-hats in the intro here. Copy the filter, add it to the hi-hats. Just extending the arrangement a bit here. Add a little break here and reintroduce all the elements in the main part over here. Take out the kick here. I'm gonna add a EQ8, here we go, to the kick so we reduce the bass in this part. the bass back in this part here maybe add like a double kick no not so fitting add our session back in Like the intro is just a bit too empty. Might need to filter in the claps as well because those are too present now. Oops, duplicated this by accident. Gonna take this and add it to the clap layer right here. Yeah, there we go. around with a few vocals here so I'm gonna add a MIDI track head into instruments or plugins perhaps contact yeah add that in here ethno world 6 so West Asia maybe it's I'm not sure it's like a Turkish female voice might be very fitting or might not be, let's just test that out. In this part here. Reduce the volume.
this. Exactly, I need a different part here. that second part Let's see if we can resample that I really liked it um, actually I just want to mute the sidechain ducking channel now so Sample just the delay part, you know. So, first, we're going to resample the entire vocal. Nope, not like that. Increase the volume, take out the reverb. Gonna take the second part of the vocal now. Just like that. Remove the entire vocal from the MIDI layer. So we just have the audio that we're working with now. Gonna take these effects, add them to this layer. Can we activate them on the old layer now? Cool, okay. So we have a few vocals now. for that sample packs right here and we have our ambiente transitions pack over here kind of like the sound I'm gonna have to repitch it though on warp repitch Complex Pro this time. And I'm going to need another atmospheric transition, this time a non taller one. This, yeah, this might do the job. Deuce the volume here, unwarp it. Let's 
see if we can add these one bar earlier. And disable these perhaps for a bar. some type of fill here. Decrease the length of this fill here. And have the transitions like right here. these up an octave here so consolidate and then we could drop it all back in, in this part here See how that hits. Just like that.
Uh, we need to drag it up a bit here. So at this point we could either add a few synth fills or fills, create smoother transitions, but I'm just going to leave this project at this point and I might finish it later on. And now I'm going to give you a quick playthrough of it.
All right, everyone, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. It does help me provide you more content like this. And if you like these sounds as well as this project file, you can grab them all using the links down in the description below. So thank you very much. Peace, love, out. Thank <laughs> you.